Audio Renaissance presents Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. The monitor lady smiled very nicely and tousled his hair and said, Andrew, I suppose by now you're just absolutely sick of having that horrid monitor. Well, I have good news for you. That monitor is going to come out today. We're going to take it right out, and it won't hurt a bit. Ender nodded. It was a lie, of course, that it wouldn't hurt a bit. But since adults always said it when it was going to hurt, he could count on that statement as an accurate prediction of the future. Sometimes lies were more dependable than the truth. So if you'll just come over here, Andrew, just sit right up here on the examining table. The doctor will be in to see you in a moment. The monitor, gone. Ender tried to imagine the little device missing from the back of his neck. Oh, I'll roll over on my back in bed and it won't be pressing there. I won't feel it tingling and taking up the heat when I shower. And Peter won't hate me any more. I'll come home and show him that the monitor's gone and he'll see that I didn't make it either, that I'll just be a normal kid now like him. That won't be so bad then. He'll forgive me that I had my monitor a whole year longer than he had his. We'll be, well, not friends probably. No, Peter was too dangerous. Peter got so angry. Brothers, though. Not enemies, not friends, but brothers. Able to live in the same house. He won't hate me. He'll just leave me alone. And when he wants to play buggers and astronauts, maybe I won't have to play. Maybe I can just go read a book. But Ender knew, even as he thought it, that Peter wouldn't leave him alone. There was something in Peter's eyes when he was in his mad mood. And whenever Ender saw that look, that glint, he knew that the one thing Peter would not do was leave him alone. I'm practicing piano, Ender. Come turn the pages for me. Oh, is the monitor boy too busy to help his brother? Is he too smart? Got to go kill some buggers, astronaut? No, no, I don't want your help. I can do it on my own, you little bastard, you little third. This won't take long, Andrew, said the doctor. Ender nodded. It's designed to be removed without infection, without damage, but there will be some tickling, and some people say they have a feeling of something missing. You'll keep looking around for something, something you were looking for, but you can't find it and you can't remember what it was. So I'll tell you, it's the monitor you're looking for and it isn't there. In a few days, that feeling will pass. The doctor was twisting something at the back of Ender's head. Suddenly, a pain stabbed through him like a needle from his neck to his groin. Ender felt his back spasm and his body arched violently backward. His head struck the bed. He could feel his legs thrashing, and his hands were clenching each other, wringing each other so tightly that they arched. Dee Dee, shouted the doctor, I need you. The nurse ran in, 